Good morning. It is Saturday, August 26th. And uh, this is the pond that we have over in what we call the horse field. And you can see it's not looking the greatest. All of our ponds are kinda, kinda looking pretty pathetic. Couple years of dry and, and this is what you get. But I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna move the cows over here. You can maybe see them waiting for me. But uh, I just put this fence up and I don't know if you can tell my stuffiness. I'm getting over a cold, naturally. And uh, Jamie's got it. Caitlin's got it. Grace has got it. And only one that's healthy right now is Taylor. So I pray that she'll stay that way. You can also see that the uh, the horses, we let them out in here. and Not every day, but but quite often. And there's not a lot of... Not a lot of good vegetation in here, so I'm just, I just want to move the cows through pretty quick um, just to maybe get them to trample some of that stuff down and some of the stuff along the fences. Over along that fence line over over there, there's some, some stuff I'd like them to trample. And it's been hot, so when it's hot and dry, nothing really grows. You can see that... Uh, just nothing's growing. Everything's looking pretty bad. Um, there's a chance for rain today, so we're hoping. Um, there's some there's some okay forage in here in certain spots, but you know they'll nibble they'll nibble this stuff and kind of nibble it back and and over there in the shade they'll nibble some. But uh, all in all, there's not a ton in here for them to eat. It looks a lot better when you look out across the top than when you actually look down on it. But that's the way it goes. Such is life, as they say. Um, so I'm going to run them through here. Uh, probably do twice, two moves a day. I won't leave them in here for a full day, maybe. See what it looks like. Um, but I'm going to run them through here and see if they'll trample some of this down and and uh, that way when the rains do start, maybe the good grass will have a chance to take hold and not be not be flushed out or or uh, crowded out by all the weeds. And it is about 1,455 degrees out here. It's only about 9 o'clock in the morning. And there must be about, oh, I don't know, 10,000% humidity right about now give or take a percentage or two it's pretty hot and it's been hot um probably the only thing that's keeping everything from being just brown brown dead brown is uh is the fact that the humidity has been so high so in the morning there's a real thick dew <coughs> excuse me on everything and um that's probably the only thing that's keeping things somewhat somewhat from being just dead and brown and dried up and ugly looking and uh but uh hopefully today's our last hot hot day and then this next week will cool off and we got some rain chances so we'll see not big rain chances but um a chance is better than what we've had which has been zero so uh hopefully keep your fingers crossed we'll get some rain i wanted to show you this really quick all the pollen. You can see all the pollen on the front of the four-wheeler and in the brakes and all that stuff. Driving through this field, there's been, it's been pretty pollinated. These things right here, I don't know what they are, but you can see maybe the dust coming off of them. Full of pollen. So, I don't know what they are. I'll uh, figure it out though and put it on the screen. We're gonna go over here real quick and let these let these cows out and uh, and uh, let them have a little bite here. Might be a little loud and bumpy for a sec. Forgive me.
come in. So they'll be coming through this opening right here where that post is at. That post is at. Hey, Max. I'm gonna go shut this fence off. I know me enough to know that I'll end up shocking myself. And I don't wanna do that on camera, or at all, really. These, uh, these fencers right here, they work pretty darn good. It's just a battery powered solar charger. Herdsman brand or Paramac, I believe they're the same, but uh, they work pretty good. They'll, they'll give you a jolt. And uh, I mean, it's enough to keep these guys in. And I've been shocked with it. It's not very fun. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, yes. We're coming, Spicy. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Well, we got one smart one. There we go. Come on, Max. Everybody else through, bud. There you go, bud. Yeah. Hey, 49. Hey, 901. Sugar. Come on. Go through. Come on, little girl. Jemima, good morning. 42, good morning. Sweet Pea, good morning. Yammy, good morning. This is a brand new field for them. They've never been in there before. So they're going to They'll walk around it, give it a look-see. He's going to mess with my, my four-wheeler. He always messes with my four-wheeler. They'll walk around and explore it, see where their boundaries are, and then they'll start to eat. So I'm hoping that they'll trample some of this down, eat some of it back, you know, the stuff that they'll, that they'll eat. They'll munch on that stuff a little bit, and there's just not a lot in here. Uh, but they'll be they'll be able to get something at least, and and hopefully they'll stay out of that pond over there. We put up a temporary fence, but who knows if they'll respect it or not? Sometimes, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But uh, I'm gonna. Pull the four-wheeler back through the gate over there and then button that up so they can't get out and then i'm going to show you what we're going to do next got a nice little rainstorm i don't know how much we got yet i haven't looked but it sent me inside and uh i wasn't able to get near accomplish what i wanted to but i am okay with that there's remnants of the storm right there. And then the, that's where it came from. It's still nice and cloudy though. So I'm gonna go down over to the end of the field there and uh, take a look at that gate that I meant to do, that I needed to do earlier.
bring the cows next. Cows haven't been here since April 13th. So there's, there's some pretty decent forage down in here. It's not looking too bad. And so you can see, we got our lower pond right there, what's left of it. And this field goes down that little tree line right there, not where that dead tree's at, but past it. And then it goes down, right there's the corner. And then it goes up that away. That building right there is on the neighbor's property. And it goes right there where the four wheeler's at. What I'm gonna do, what I need to do, is I need to get this gate taken care of. As you can see, it's just sitting here. And I think it's I think that's just busted and it's no good no more. So I'm gonna measure this and I'm gonna see if I've got a gate that'll fit it. I think I've got a 12 foot gate, but I'd like to see if I can make this one work for a little bit longer. We'll see. So you can see what I mean. It was like this and it was welded. And that weld has just come, come loose. You know, this is not very thick metal. And, uh, I think they've got this thing as tight as it'll go. It's to form the pipe some, so see if I can't get it to get back in there. Should have brought a crescent wrench. Well, it's up there. I got these logs up here just to hold this up while I got it put back on. As you can see, down there, it's not really on there. So I'm gonna take them logs out and see what it does. Well, it's staying on. I 
I don't trust that it'll stay that way. And maybe I can tack that on there or wire it up or something. This here's the middle field. Once they're done in this, what we call the bottom 40, we'll put them down here in this middle field. So like I said, this is where they're going next. There's some weeds in here too. We don't like them, but it's vegetation. And uh, that's the idea is to get to have vegetation. <coughs> it doesn't look terrible, terrible down here though. I mean, there's some good stuff. There's quite a bit of foxtail. You can see it. There's a little purple top down here. Maybe uh, as uh, it gets, starts to get cooler, it's almost September, we'll start getting some of the cool season grasses to grow again. Hopefully. This one's getting ready to bloom. Over here somewhere, I unrolled a bale. There's quite a bit of purple top right here. I mean, this this grass right here is probably chest high to me. So it's pretty, there's some pretty good stuff in here. There'll be some good forage. The last time they were in here, I don't know if I mentioned it, was April 13th. So, which is good. Yeah, I've unrolled, I unrolled that bale somewhere right in here. I just set it up there on the top of the hill and pushed it. Let gravity help me, since I don't have a bale unroller. And it went went down into them trees a little bit I don't remember exactly where they've got some good stuff in here there'll be some stuff to eat so the way that we uh, the way that we graze this field here is I don't have water down here and I don't let them get in the pond um, is we strip it. So we set up strips like we do in the hayfield, but we just have an alleyway that goes up back on this side of the hayfield all the way to the top there. It's not ideal, but it's what we've, it's what we've got and that's what we can do. It's not real hot out right now, but it is humid after that rain. Not complaining, thankful for the rain. And breathing is a little hard with this cold and being a little out of shape, out of shape. but I always like to say round as a shape. So I wanted to tell a little story to close here about an experience that I had and uh, kind of maybe a, an, a wake up call as it were, or a, a, a God moment. I believe God takes care of us. And I believe that uh, without God taking care of us, even those who don't believe in God, we wouldn't make it. So a lot of you know, if you've watched the channel or if you're a, a personal friend, that one of the reasons why we moved um, to Missouri from Colorado was because um, we had a lot of water problems in Colorado. And you can go back and look at some of the videos. I've got one video where our hydrant had just, it was just coming out brown and it was pretty bad. So in the 14 years that we lived there, we had 
quite a bit of problems with our well. It's, it was good once we moved, obviously. Um, but, uh, but we had quite a bit of water issues. Plus, it was really dry in Colorado. And, um, you know, you never knew not, not when it was going to rain, but if it was going to rain. You know, and I can remember years where the grass would get, you know, just a few inches tall and then that was it. And it would die. Uh, because it was just too so dry and too dry for the grass to grow. And uh, so one of the reasons why we moved was was uh, for for water. It rains more here in Missouri, and uh, the grass grows and and uh, I mean like that. That's one of the reasons. There's a, a bunch more, obviously. Um, and I can remember saying to some friends and family before we moved and as we were moving. We're gonna have three ponds. So we've got this pond down here that we just that we just showed you. We've got the pond up by the house, and then we've got the pond that's in what we call the horse field, um, where we put the cows this morning. And I showed you that. And uh, so I remember saying, you know, if we ever have any water issues, at least we've got the ponds that we can get some water from. And then this year more so even than last year, and it was drier last year than it was this year. This year, our ponds have not been doing good at all. Like, I mean, super duper low. So last year it was a really bad drought, and this year's been sort of droughty, not as bad as last year, but still not as, not as wet as in previous years. And, and here's the other crazy thing, and take this for what you will. The ponds that are around us, and there's quite a few ponds out here, and uh, some of the ponds that are around us don't look as bad as ours. And they're the ones that are close by, so you know that they're getting as much rain as we are, and and yet ours look worse. And I just couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. So I say all that to say this. I was watching a, uh, a, uh, you a video on YouTube. It was a, a preacher. Uh, by the name of Derek Prince, he's uh, gone to be with the Lord now. But I was watching him, and he talked about his first wife, who had also uh, gone to be with the Lord. And uh, when they met, she was she was a uh, she had a girls' home in uh, in Israel. Israel wasn't a state yet at the time, and um, they didn't have a lot of money. So, so she was raising these girls and, um, with, with hardly any resources, but they had God in his message. He was talking about how many times they didn't even have food because they didn't have the money for it, but she had faith that God would provide. And so, uh, her name was Lydia. So Lydia would get the girls together and they would set the table. And they would sit down to pray for the food that they were about to eat, even though there was no food on the table and no food in the cupboards. And um, always God provided a way. Sometimes he would send another family with food. And uh, when, when they would knock on the door, they would say, um, "God, we felt like God was putting it on our hearts to bring you guys this food. It was donations. It was, you know, just that, this, that, or the other thing. And, uh, and God always provided. And as I was listening to this, I felt like the Spirit of God told me that about my palms. I had the, I had the impression, you know, that he was saying that, that I was trusting in the ponds. I was trusting in, in, in the ponds to provide water instead of him to provide. And I don't want to get too sappy or carried away but i felt like it was important to share that is is um a lot of times we trust in ourselves we trust in 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 other things and in inanimate things like a pond or we trust in our jobs or the bank or or uh other people and really our trust should should be squarely and wholly in the lord he provides i mean all through the Bible, we read stories of him providing. And it was kind of like one of those wow God moments for me where, where I had this realization that I was trusting on 
on the pond in case my well quit working or whatever. And just, just to be clear, we're not having any water troubles. We're not having any problems with our well. Our well is fine as far as I know. Um, but when you live with, with water issues, like we did in Colorado for so long, you just never know. You never know when it's going to happen. And, uh, and I, I just remember saying to people, if our well quits working, at least we can water the animals with the ponds. And, uh, it really made me realize I am completely hopeless or helpless. I guess I should say I'm like a baby and we all are to some extent. And that's not to say that we should just sit back and, and say, God's going to provide everything. Well, while we do nothing, so I will also say, if a man does not work, he should not eat. Um, but our source, our hope, our life, our, our everything has to come from God. And I was trusting in a pond, ponds, instead of trusting in the God of the universe, the God of everything. And, uh, I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. We all are. We always are. Anyways, I appreciate you listening. I appreciate uh, you letting me get a little personal. That is a very personal thing for me. And I appreciate your thoughts and prayers as my family heals from this this illness. Um, colds always suck. They're always miserable. <laughs> But it seems like they're worse when it's summertime because it's hot and you don't feel good. Um, Jamie's doing a little bit better than she was. She's she's out of bed and and uh, Gracie's still feeling pretty yucky. Caitlin's doing a little bit better. So, um, and like I said earlier, Taylor's the only one that hasn't gotten it. And we're just praying that she doesn't. And, uh, and... We could use your prayers that she stays healthy as well and that the rest of us get healthy. Um, also, exciting news for us anyway, is uh, the last I looked, we were at 192 subscribers, which is very awesome. Um, almost, almost to 200. Um, so, again, I I'm... I guess I am bragging a little bit. I was going to say I'm not trying to be braggadocious, but I guess I am bragging a little bit. I know there's people who've got hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers, and uh, and good for them. I just think it's really cool that uh, that nearly 200 people um, find what I'm saying and doing to be uh, important enough to subscribe and like and watch these videos. So uh, thank you to all of you who have subscribed and who watch. And, and uh, I just ask that you'd like this video. And, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for me and share with your friends and, and uh, ask them to watch and, and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. Be blessed, everybody. Be a blessing to somebody else. Bye-bye.